Isabel. Hey. <laughs> All right. Good morning, everyone. Welcome to another episode of Crossing and Chat. My name is Priscilla. Uh, let's get started. At 6.52 a.m. on Thursday, May 13th. And no new big news to share with us today. A bamboo... Co oh! <laughs> Did you know that this time of year is perfect for harvesting fresh bamboo or young spring bamboo? Right. I did plant some bamboo. Oh, and Isabel sharing some bamboo recipes. Great. Thanks, Isabel. So, right. Um, so I guess she's sending us bamboo. I also have grown some bamboo. Um, we can check that out. And Max here wants to play <laughs> oh maxi i feel bad playing or doing people things without him um but i spend so much time with him already <laughs> as much as i can so um yeah maybe that's his helicopter nature is that he's just you know wants to be with me all the time <laughs> which is very sweet but anyways max i'm playing here he has, like, if my hands aren't on him at all times, he's like, why aren't you petting me? Why are you touching the controller? Why are you touching your phone, your camera? Anything like that. He's like, um, pay attention to me. Okay, Max. <laughs> okay. Uh, so a message from Stinky. There's one thing I'd like to tell you today, okay? Muscles aren't built in a day. Intense daily training is everything. Don't be a slacker. Okay, that's it. In it to win it, Stinky. Very good motto. Um, consistency is the road to your efforts, you know? Um, that was kind of one of the messaging in Haikyuu. Uh, if you watch the latest season of Haikyuu, the volleyball anime, I don't know if you guys heard of it, really great messaging and the captain on that, uh, on one of the opposing teams is just like that, all about consistency and your efforts are shown through daily um, exercises. So uh, I totally love that. And Nana is having soda in the morning what's going on here how's your duke day going popo chat with me i'm glad for weather like this that's perfect for air drying my laundry i love that too i wish i can air dry my laundry outside um, i used to do that growing up or at least living back home uh, we had a clothes line to dry our clothes during the summer it was really nice <laughs> Alright, so for today's uh, crossing and chat video, I wanted to talk about time traveling. Um, my thoughts on time traveling and if I kind of mentioned earlier <laughs> in another video, I'm not going to time travel because, um, well, I'll explain why in a second. I don't have 10,000 bells. I do, um, okay, I have to get 10,000 bells from the bank. But, um, yeah, so time traveling. Um, yes, yeah, so I'm not a time traveler. I like experiencing the game as it is <laughs> every day during the seasons and all that jazz. Um, in addition to that, just because how the game is set up where you have to go to your Nintendo settings to change the date, that's just an inconvenience, a very minor inconvenience, but an inconvenience nonetheless. So I believe in New Leaf, there was ability to update the time and day. Um, so I think, I guess it was easier, but um, yeah, since the developers decided to not do that for the, um, the switch then i suppose they prefer for players to play it like in real time i guess or at least their intention was for people not to time travel i'm assuming because if they wanted players to time travel they would have built it into the gameplay 
which I think if they did, um, they would like you would go to bed and you know a prompt would say are you done for the day and then you can time travel into the next day which is dangerous at least for me because um i don't have any boundaries really so if i if that was like a thing in the game i would be time traveling like all the time if it was that easy yeah um okay let's see what since we're here Let's see what is available. Oh yes, right. <laughs> and last video, we've reached three star on Petrichor Island. So I have unlocked KK came and did a wonderful concert uh, with everyone. And yeah, that was great. And I've unlocked all of the things. So um, my precious miles <laughs> uh, cost me some pre precious miles. And nothing here today that I want to download at the moment. So I'm going to sign off that. We'll check shopping really quickly to see if there's any items of note. Ooh, drying rack. Speaking of drying things indoors, though I don't love this colorway. I don't know. Um, and the record player. Okay, nothing. Nothing at the moment that I want to get. So we'll go back to burying the money tree. But yeah, if... Uh, ooh, a decimal, nice. Um, yeah, so if the developers incorporated time traveling that easy into the game, I would definitely do it. <laughs> I would think like in a week, um, if I played like so hard that I time travel all the way to Christmas time, um, that would be hilarious. But that's the thing, I guess, that they wanted to encourage people to do, I'm assuming, is for people to experience the game in real time and, um, yeah, and to... What I really like about the real-time gaming is that it gives you boundaries. Um, it gives you natural stopping points so you can do other things. Like for someone, like for myself, I have other things that I have to do and, oh, right, that I have to do. And, um, What's great about Animal Crossing, the game in general, is that there is no like quote-unquote missions. Like <laughs> the Nook Miles itself are the only kind of dailies or things you can set goals for and uh, do every day to you know finish. But there's no really any consequences of not achieving like Nook Miles. You um, get what you put in, I suppose, so, but there's, like, no real consequence, which is, uh, really great. So, um, yeah, I, and obviously people who do time travel, it doesn't affect how I play the game, it doesn't affect how my island turns out, so, um, yeah, I don't really care if you time travel or not, um, people are free to play the game how they like so um yeah just for me because it's my, uh, the minor inconvenience of changing your clock on your settings and um and i do prefer to experience the seasons and just things in real time uh are probably the two main reasons why i don't time travel i think there are times when moving houses and getting I think just the moving houses, I would say, are the only reasons I would time travel is because I want to do something and I need something just out of the way. Um, as far as construction, like bridges and inclines, I don't really care if they come up um, the day after or whatnot, but I, I think I have time traveled um, on my previous island just to move, get the buildings moved and <laughs> out of the way. But um, yeah, that was um, kind of the only times I time traveled and was kind of minimal. Um, I would 
for the most part, just wait the next day for things to be moved. But um, yeah, for this island, I'm gonna try to not time travel because I am playing, like Stinky said, doing things consi consistently. So things will get moved and done eventually over time. And if I play every day, it'll get done <laughs> eventually. So um, might as well just enjoy the game, doing the daily stuff, and um, and also giving myself a breather to figure out what I'm gonna do next. So let me know your thoughts on time traveling. If you time travel, um, do you time travel minimally, a lot? I'm assuming uh, it's more to uh, achieve certain um, parts of the game. Move buildings quickly and things like that. And not till <laughs> fish and do normal tasks by time traveling and you just want to get the day done because that's the thing about Animal Crossing is that you can spend hours just doing one thing planting, gardening, and I guess if you want to check out the, uh, check out new inventory and stuff in the shops, I totally understand wanting to see what's available every day, but yeah, let's see what is going on here, man, I'm getting a lot of orange roses, I'm not too sure if Oh shoot, okay, I'll swap these. Great it again. I can't tell if I'm cloning the orange roses or if this is a result from um, the red and yellow roses. This is my kind of modified 12 by 12 plot. So I'm not too sure if putting the orange roses here is affecting how the roses are growing. Mm. Let's see what's in my pocket. Let's see what I can put away. Oh, dust mirror. I really want a dust mirror in real life. Um, I moved my computer desk somewhere different. <laughs> and I love to put a dust mirror on my desk here so I can it's facing the opposite of my television. <laughs> so <laughs> if I put a desk mirror, I can both work on my computer and watch YouTube videos at the same time. It would be <laughs> really good. <laughs> okay, let me put the desk mirror somewhere else. I love the New Horizons theme song. It's great. Oop. Come on. Okay. Go. In pockets. Oh, it's black. Nope. There we go. And what else is in my pockets that I can get rid of? Oh, the DIY. I didn't even open that. Modern wood wall. Okay. Oh yes, and I got these new fences. Right, what else can I dish out, put away? I don't think anything, I have to sell all of them all of this stuff. Let's see what's in the nook miles and what I could finish. Chop wood, complete DIY projects, talk to the neighbors, sell shells, and catch fish. Okay. I got stung by so many bees yesterday. I can't figure out the timing. I think I've caught the wasp like twice and 
I think most likely by accident. Um, I'm trying to figure out the timing. I can't figure it out. is pretty cool. I wonder if you can customize it. So those are my thoughts. Yes, on time traveling. Um, yeah, let me know if you time travel, if you prefer not to time travel, um, what, what are your reasons for either or. <laughs> I think, yeah, if time traveling was built into the game, I think people would be playing nonstop more than, yeah. But I guess if people time travel anyways, they're gonna <laughs> play more than usual, I, I would assume. Um, but yes, having the ability to find like natural stopping points in the game uh, helps me to remember to do other things uh, that I have to get to, so. Let's see, tree branch wreath. So cute, okay. So many things to sell. Oh, I could have made a tire. Um, let's make a tire seat. Get rid of that. I love when the villagers obviously use the <laughs> the furniture. All done for now. At the moment with designing the island, um, I'm just doing whatever right now. And after terraforming, Usually when I design the island, I usually terraform and design at the same time. I don't really uh, terraform first and once that's all done, I start to design it, I guess. Um, I'm pretty sure that's how <laughs> most people design their island. chop wood I like to chop all of the wood first before picking it up it seems that's the most efficient way to get things done is to repeat the tasks um, as much as you can like do a task and repeat it and move on to the next next task and repeat it rather than doing multiple different tasks at the same time. I kind of learned that while sewing my quilt. <laughs> the most efficient um, workflow is always good. I try to be efficient. There are times where I'm not efficient at all. Chop a tree, common butterfly, that's easy. Did I talk to Sinky? He was sitting on the in front of the plaza. <laughs> now nowhere to be found. Okay. I guess let's chop down. Where is my axe? Okay, here it is. Yeah, I find um, I'm using my stone axe more than the hardcore one. I use only use this axe to chop down trees obviously that's the only tool you can use to do that but doing the chopping wood nook mile task yeah it's always the stone stone hammer that i use and i 
have yet to find or go to someone's house for a DIY recipe, so I'll probably check that out. It's my a common butterfly. Where are you? Not is it there? I guess I could catch. Find a butterfly and catch fish at the same time. Okay. And imagining it. Oh gosh, no. And as you can see, I've moved Timmy and Tommy's place to the beach. It has begun moving everyone onto the beach. <laughs> I didn't realize it was 50,000 bells to move the big shops and things. Um, And hopefully today is the day I make a profit on turnips. I thought I was on a decreasing trend since yesterday or on Tuesday, cause um, yeah, <laughs> it was looking grim and I bought my savings worth of turnips. So hopefully I make a profit today and moving houses will be less, you know, stressful <laughs> for me because they yeah because they cost so much money okay let's see I have 14 000. let's move the shop Yeah, I was kind of contemplating whether to terraform a little bit at a time as I'm moving the buildings, but I think it's best for me to move all of the buildings first, just so I have a good idea of how much space I'm working with. Um, Mabel is up at this hour. <laughs> Come on, Mabel. sisters beside Timmy and Tommy or as close as I can get in the space provided on the beach and as you can see on the map in the bottom right I think I'm gonna move all of the villagers on the left side of the island and the more permanent buildings the museum and such um, where on the very right corner if it'll fit they take up a lot of space, so we'll see. Ooh, I wonder if they'll fit here. It's too close. Okay. Um, oh, shoot. Ooh, this is a tight spot. Hmm. I don't know, I was gonna try again. Let's see. Oh, okay. Let me imagine it. Although this is where they're gonna go. <laughs> yeah. All 
Alright, so the Able Sisters will move there, then the museum is next, and then I'll probably move Stinky, then Pango, Nana, Paolo, and then my house is the last one. So how many days is that? One, two, three, four, five, about a week worth of moving, so yeah, I guess terraforming won't happen for a couple of weeks, at least a week, so that's just the reality of things, but there's definitely more, there's things we can do and things we can talk about as well, so hopefully you guys are okay with this kind of slower pace, the reality of just working at the island every day and um yeah and just how the game is set up i suppose so if that's how it is then that's how it shall be as i make more and more videos and edit i'm figuring out little things i can do to improve the videos every day and i think screenshots or my thumbnails can be better so turn guide off oh what <laughs> Oh my gosh, guys, I just learned how to use the camera properly and so I can now intro and outro these videos better. So let's send the outro. Thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a like. And if you have any other Animal Crossing topics you want me to talk about, let me know in the comments below. But that is everything. Have a very good day, guys. I will talk to you in the next episode. Have a good one. Bye. <laughs>